Hello there, and welcome to UK Diesel and Electric Railway Modelling. First of all, I've passed something of milestone recently by passing 150 subscribers. I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who subscribed to me. It's gratifying to see that people like what I have to share, and it spurs me on to create more content for you to enjoy. For this project, I'm going to renumber a rake of Network South East liveried coaches. These are all Backman Mark 1 coaches and are based upon a real train that I saw in Paddington in March 1991 operating in an Oxford service behind Class 47707. One of the nice things about renumbering is that you can have individual coaches. This allows you to imprint your own identity on your layout instead of having the same ones that everybody else has. And on the coaches I have here, the CKs and TSOs are exactly the same model with the same numbers on them. The coaches involved are a BSK, two CKs, five TSOs, and although it's not for this train, since it's in Network South East, I might as well do this BG at the same time. For this project, you'll need a modelling scalpel, some Q-tips, and some transfers. These are from Fox Transfers, item 4754-1 and 2. Some water and some tissue. You'll also need a list of the coaches that you're modelling, so you don't forget. First thing we need to do is to remove the original numbers, and like the Class 47 I did in the previous video, we need some isopropanol alcohol to do this. Apply a small amount on the end of a Q-tip so that it's covered in the IPA, but not so much that it drips at all. Obviously, we don't want to do this over the top of the model and have some IPA spill on top of it. So just do it off to one side. And then we just rub over the numbers. And you'll see that very quickly the tip starts to turn blue, showing the paint that's been gradually removed. Be careful not to rub on the red or blue parts. As you remove the blue numbers, the end of the Q-tip pushes a little paint at the end just where the tip is stained. Just brush over the mark, bringing it backwards, and the stain will vanish and you'll have a nice clean area. Afterwards, I lick the blunt end of the Q-tip to make sure the IPA is all cleaned away so it won't attack the white anymore. And now we do the other side. We now have a number three coach. Once this is done, paint over some gloss varnish over the area where the numbers will go. This will give the transfer something to grip to and hide the shiny film the transfers are printed on. Applying transfers is very simple and here's how it's achieved. This BSK coach will be 35290. Looking at the top set of numbers here, we might find two or three numbers that are already prepared. Other times it might just be two. Scanning through the preset numbers, I'm looking for a 3 5, a 5 2, a 2 9, or a 9 0. Nope, none there. So I'll have to go for individual numbers below. So we cut out the 3, 5, 2, 9 and 0. Just trim off the line underneath and line them up. Thank you. 
Now we need the water, tweezers, a paintbrush and the tissue. I usually start with the centre number first. Pick up the numbers with the tweezers and hold them in the water for a few seconds to let the backing paper soak up the liquid. Wait for a few moments and the first number should be ready to use. I wet the surface of the coach slightly and then we pick up the middle number and just slide it off the backing paper and onto the model. You'll be able to see where the number goes because the surface is shiny where the IPA was applied. And now we just push it around until it's in the right place, making sure that it's flat and level. Once your number is in position, place the tissue over the top and roll your finger over it as if you're making a fingerprint. This will squeeze out any water under the transfer and soak it up into the tissue. Now our first number is on, we can apply the next one. You want to give the first number a few minutes to dry hard in place before applying the second. This can be awkward because the backing film has an edge to it so it overlaps the first number, but often it doesn't want to push against the film. If you've noticed, I've used the flat line of the paintbrush to make sure the numbers are properly aligned. Once you get into the swing of things, it becomes quicker and easier to do. Coach is finished, take a short break to let it fully dry before proceeding to the next stage. 
We now want to put a layer of varnish over the transfer to protect it from being scuffed by picking it up carelessly or damaged if there's a derailment and it falls on its side. Use another coat of gloss varnish again to hide the backing film from the transfers. I use Vallejo's 470 acrylic gloss medium. It dries nice and fast and is easy to apply. Just thin it down with a little water and brush over the transfer. Then put the coach on one side and leave it to dry. The next coach is a CK. The first two numbers on the coach are ones I need anyway, but when comparing the Backman printed numbers to the transfers, the colour and size are slightly different, so I'll just replace all of them. Again, I wet a Q-tip with the IPA and proceed exactly as I did with the BSK. Fortunately for me, this coach will be 7158, and one of the transfers has 158 already prepared for me, making life much easier. Like before, I cut it off, and this number 7. Trim them down. Soak them with water. Apply the largest transfer first, it will be less likely to be knocked when a second transfer is pushed up against it. Again, roll your finger over the transfer to remove any water and secure the transfer into place. If you've noticed, I place the 7 on top of the 158 and slide it across the top and to the left rather than pushing against it. This is an easier way of achieving the correct placement. Now that I've shown you two coaches, we can do the rest in a batch, removing the numbers from the coaches then applying the transfers to each one. It's best to deal with each type of coach in order so you don't accidentally put the wrong number on the wrong type of coach. In this case, I deal with the CK first. Then I move on to the TSOs. If you notice, I put the transfers for each coach in a separate box on my modelling mat. This makes it easier to put the right numbers on each coach without mixing up the order of the individual numbers.
Once all the numbers are on, they get a coat of gloss varnish and put aside to dry for about 10 minutes. Once everything's dry, a second coat of satin varnish is applied over the transfers to tone them down to match the finish of the coaches. There's more to be done to these coaches, but that'll have to wait for another video. Since these coaches have a Network South East theme to them, I thought I'd draw some attention to another YouTube channel with an NSC theme to it, and that's Everard Junction. Richard does some excellent modelling, including repaints and detailing to his rolling stock, which is a rare thing on YouTube, and one of the reasons why I make my videos. Sadly, his original layout suffered from warping and had to be dismantled due to temperature fluctuations and moisture, something very common in a loft layout. However, he's now insulated his loft and is building a brand new layout, so it will be interesting to see how this new layout develops. Check out his channel, which can be found in the description below. Thanks for watching.